Stacy, and I just wanted to talk to you today about a product that I recently bought and had a really bad experience with. So I wanted to kind of give you a little buyer beware to tell you a little about the product and what happened to me. So when you go shopping, you'll know if you're shopping for a toaster oven or an air fryer or an air fryer grill, you'll know maybe to think twice if you want to purchase this product. So this is the Power XL air fryer grill. And when I first went to the store, I was really excited because I saw all these different gadgets. It was an air fryer, it was a grill, it was a toaster oven, you could do pizzas, bagels, you can broil in it, you could reheat. So it had all these different options. So I was like, wow, this is great to have in my kitchen and to cook with. So the first time I had bought this, um, I had it for a little while and then all of a sudden the toaster stopped working and I was trying to toast and it wasn't uh, toasting the bread anymore. So I do brought it back to the store. I had gotten it at Sam's Club and they're really good with taking back stuff. So I explained to them that the toaster stopped working and I had the bread in there for over 10 minutes and it still wasn't toasting. So they asked me if I wanted an exchange. And I liked it so much that I said, you know what, sure. You know, I, I definitely want to, you know, try it out and, you know, give it a second try. So I brought it home, they gave me a new one and I put it in and the next day I decided to use it. So I had went to the deli and I bought these little baby eggplants that were pre-made already. And I put it in there and I put it on the air fryer setting because I wanted to make it nice and crispy. It was cold, I wanted to cook it some more because they didn't really cook it too much. They just kind of stuffed it and you know prepared it for you to cook. So I put it in the air fryer and about a couple minutes later, about five minutes later, all of a sudden I hear a loud explosion. I turn around and there is glass everywhere, everywhere in my kitchen, the whole entire door blew up. It was crispy glass all over the place. The handle even came off and blew off with the glass. I was, I was so scared and I was just shocked. I, this had never happened to me with any product I've ever bought in my entire life. And I just, you know, I, I went on, I actually, I called them first. I called them to tell them what happened and I called the corporate office and the woman didn't even seem very concerned. She was like, oh, so sorry to hear that. And I was like, she didn't even seem shocked or anything. So I, I was kind of, you know, I was like, wow, I can't believe that she has no concern in her voice, no nothing, you know? She took my information down and basically hung up with me and said that someone will get back to me. I was like, you know what? Someone could have got really hurt. The glass flew everywhere. My dog screeched. My, my son ran from downstairs because he heard this loud noise. He was like devastated. You know, I could have got really hurt if I was just a little bit closer. And, you know, she didn't seem concerned at all. So I went on Facebook and I went on their Facebook page and shockingly, I was not the first person that this happened to. This has happened to many people. And, in, and with not even just the Power XL air fryer grill, but it's happened with lots of other products. They've had lots of problems and other people have actually gotten their glass blown out of their doors and not on just this product, but other products related to their company. So I was really shocked and maybe that's why she didn't seem too concerned because I wasn't the only one and maybe this is just another one calling to complain about the same problem but come on the glass blew up you know the door the door came out the, the handle flew off you know they have to really you know do something about this you know either there's a sh electrical shortage in the product or you know there's your know, glasses you know when you make buy these appliances the the glass is actually you know supposed to be made to handle heat and obviously this one can't handle heat. So why are they putting it in this product? So, you know, there's lots of things to consider, you know, and is there a shortage? Maybe this, you know, gadget can't handle all these different, you know, different things. And, you know, they gotta look at this product and, you know, reevaluate it and maybe reevaluate all their other products because they're doing something wrong. I don't know what it is, but they're doing something wrong and someone's gonna get hurt. 
So if you're going to the store and you're looking for a nice air fryer or an air fryer grill, or you're looking for a toaster and, or something to reheat your stuff in, when you go, you might want to think twice about the Power XL air fryer grill because, you know, a lot of people have had problems, including myself. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, take a few minutes just to let you know about this product. And, you know, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box. If this has happened to you, I'd love to hear about your story. Yeah. Leave yeah. your comments and your concerns or your own experience about this product in the comment box. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you know you this helps you when you're looking for a product. And I'll talk to you soon.